Today, we're opening a 2003 Joey Wheeler tin. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video. And in this epic video, we will be opening another old school tin. It's going to be pretty epic, but first, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Grand Creators First Edition booster box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite tin from 2003. And what do you want to see out of this tin? So let's hop into it gonna be pretty fun also we have a few other packs that i meant to open in a different video so we're gonna be opening those up before we get into the actual tin opening so we have some ghosts from the past too i think that like i had these for a different video and we forgot to open them or something like that so let's see if we can get a ghost share. i'd be down for that we've got the uh go ddd divine king rage it's been a while since we've opened ghosts from the past too took a little bit of a break because we did open a lot of it like 13 14 maybe 15 cases worth it was a lot vampire sorcerer we got the infinity infernity pawn and the galaxy soldier that's still worth a dollar barely and then the manju of course and mystical shine ball which is not a ghost share in the english i think that was french only but still pretty cool let's open up one more of these let's see what we can get we got a little damage on that first card vision hero pioneer we got the despian comedy we got the chronicle magician all right not too great but we do have a couple of a little bit of variety here as well. We do have a Power of the Duelist. This was also laid out that I meant to open before and we did not open. So I guess we'll just open it here and see if we can get an ultimate rare. Last time we opened one of these old tens, the Dark Magician 10, about a week ago. That was, that was not supposed to be like a joke or anything, but it was literally about a week ago. Uh, we pulled a Ghost Rare randomly. So hopefully that we'll pull something crazy in this one as well. We got a Saber Sword. Let's get the Black Stay go. We have Destiny Hero Defender. Destiny Hero Blade Master. The Ambulance Rescue Road. Destiny Hero Fearmonger, The Paths of Destiny, Orbital Bombardment, and Neo Space Strangular Old Rare. So just a Neo Space Rare. Nothing too crazy there. I say we open maybe one more of each pack, and then we'll hop into the 10 and see what we can get. So can we potentially get a Ghost Rare in this video? Let's find out. It's going to be right here. Ghost Rare Spectre. We got the Tatsu Necro and... <laughs> yes, sir. We can get a ghost rare. Cyber Dragon. So we opened up five ghosts from the past two. Randomly get a ghost rare. We opened up three shadow specters. Get a ghost rare. A cyber dragon. Let's check the back out. Back doesn't look too bad, but the centering on the front is absolutely atrocious. So there's a ghost rare. Oh my goodness. We actually called it too. I was like, this is gonna be it. And there it was ghost rare all right i guess we'll open one more power of the duelist oh my goodness should we uh, manifest an ultimate rare flare neos or uh chimera tech over dragon as well we're dark neos i'll take that as well pretty much any ultimate rare we're going to be happy so let's see if we can manifest it again because that was insane a ghost rare right when we called it brainwashing beam very nice the miracle jurassic egg mausoleum of the emperor the decoy roid fossil excavation we've got the vehicoid connection zone destiny hero fearmonger the rescue roid and is it this one? Oh, a neo spaceship aqua dolphin ultimate rare and yes this is a good ultimate rare I, oh my gosh what just happened uh, one more of each pack that should be okay yeah i think one more of each pack will be okay not bad a solid extra 250 dollars or whatever that is that is literally almost the value of the tin we're about to open up that is crazy like aqua dolphin is a nice card maybe we could even grade this thing this thing looks beautiful so apparently when i open these old tins uh that just means we pull great out of the other packs last time it was for benjamin and the dark magician tin and we pulled like insane for him and we pulled insane for my packs this time this is just for me i'm opening this up for myself can we get a gear free the iron knight psa 10 worthy card that would be amazing so let's see what we can do we're ripping the seal this is a 300 dollars 10 by the way that is now worth like probably like 20 bucks or something like that now that we've opened it purely for your entertainment so make sure you guys enjoy it hit that like button subscribe for more epic content like that i think we're gonna be at 140k by the time you guys see this which is pretty cool all right very nice we have blue eyes white dragon let's see about this promo oh no the gear free is always so jacked up so as you guys can tell there's a bunch of stuff back there it actually isn't that bad but there's some pretty pretty big scuffing there i mean it's not definitely not great we're like at lp at best maybe even mod play with some of this um, yeah, it's not great, but still a really beautiful secret rare right there. Literally, one day we will pull a minty promo. I, and by one day, I mean, I don't think ever we'd have to go back in time because they're all like this at this point, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, it's just these five packs and that. That's the entire 10. It's a lot of space. Uh, I guess you could put more cards in there later, which a lot of us did as kids. But yeah, a lot of space for just a few things. 
Five packs, very nostalgic. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth sets of Yu-Gi-Oh. Of course, we're starting with the fifth. Let's go with Labyrinth of Nightmare. Here we go. Beautiful. I love opening these tens. They're just so much fun. Like, they're big L's almost every time, but they're just very enjoyable because you get a variety of packs. You get a nice promo. It's just really fun. So let's see what we can get out of Labyrinth of Nightmare. Last time, I think, didn't we pull, like, Magic Cylinder or something ridiculous? No, it was an Ultra. No, it was United We Stand. Wasn't that it? Yeah. Forgiving Maiden. Let's go. Mask of Weakness. We have pulled a Cylinder out of here before, though. St. Joan. We also pulled a Reverse Secret Rare, which I didn't notice at the time because I felt like garbage when I recorded that video. But that card is apparently where, like, pretty valuable because it's a reverse secret which is pretty cool so if we get a secret out of here we need to double check that's not reverse empress mantis we got the soul of purity and light actually was used in like a modern format recently i think deal of phantom pretty cool flying fish he's a flying fish three wishes that are granted to those fortunate enough to see this monster in flight yep crimson century and here we go the Mask of Brutality. Very nice card. It's the Mask of Brutality. Pretty sick. A little bit of edge wear there right out of the pack, but that's okay. Just Labyrinth the Nightmare. We've got some high rolling packs right after this, though, so it's okay to, you know, strike out on the first one. Next pack, Pharaoh's Servant. So it's, it's like rolled over a little bit. Looks like it was supposed to be a fat pack, but it didn't end up being that fat. So he lost, maybe he lost some weight. You know what I mean? No, no body shaming at all here. So keep that in mind. It's just, there's no body shaming of these packs. Two, three, four. One of the best comments I've ever seen was the guy talking about body shaming the first time. Uh, ground claps. We got the light of intervention. The steel ogre grotto at number two. You cannot get Genzo out of here, but you can get Buster Blader. The earth shaker. And by the way, you can't get Genzo because it's not a hobby pack. It's a retail pack. So all tens had retail packs, which probably retail is the different secrets you can get. Out of here, we can get Imperial Order. Four-star ladybug of doom, which you probably know if you've been watching the channel for a while. The Armored Glass. I can't believe we pulled a Ghost or an Ulti. I keep stopping in this pack. Flame Champion. Very nice. A Warrior pr Protected. A Warrior Protected by a Flaming Shield that mollifies any attack. Nullifies, not mollifies. Okay, we can't really read uh, that kind of text, apparently. Respect play. Here we go. Will we pull a Foil? Ooh, a Light Force Sword. I thought maybe we got the Imperial Order. Light Force Sword, as Yugi said uh, before he, what he hit. Was it the, it wasn't the Exodi Head. That was Chain Destruction. It was one of the pieces. I believe it was an arm. Could have been a leg, though. All right, three packs to go. Magic Ruler, the very confusing 2003 Magic Ruler pack, where inside it will say Spell on the Magic cards, but it will also say MRL on all the abbreviations. So a little bit of a mix between before they switched over to Spell Ruler. So one, two, three, four. We can kind of show that off if we get any spells in here. The Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Fire Kraken. We've got the Dog Weech. The Crab Turtle. Octo Burser or October, sir. It's not October yet, but maybe in a couple months. Hungry Burger, one of the greatest commons of all time. The Burger himself. Commencement Dance. Oh, wait, there it is. See, spell card, MRL. So it would say Magic Card in 2002. After 2003, it would say Spell Card and all, all the Magic Cards. Uh, but on here, it says both. Very cool. Metal Fish. And here we go. The Mystic Tomato. So just a tomato, a young tomato with a long, long tongue. Very, very creepy, but pretty nice card overall. I mean, those recruiters are really good rares in uh, Magic Ruler. They're not really worth anything anymore, but they're still were very popular back in the day for like certain metas and stuff like that. All right, two packs to go. Metal Raiders is my favorite set, but of course we're going to leave LOB for the end. Let's do Metal Raiders. Let's see if we can pull the Pequeno Moth. Can we pull Pequeno Moth? Can we pull Barrel Dragon? Can we pull Solemn Judgment, Mirror Force, Beast Skull Dragon, Summon Skull? No Gate Guardian here because it's not a hobby pack, but we can get the Thousand Dragon. Two, three, four. Let's see what we can get. We have a Block Attack. Very nice. The Cocoon of Evolution. Very nice. That is the, the Pequeno Moth. Episode 2, The Musician King, Protector of the Throne, the prequel to Invader of the Throne, Dragon Piper, The Germ Infection, Ancient Lazard Warrior. Is it next or is it the next one? I can't remember. Seven Colored Fish. That includes the lips. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six teeth, seven lips. Is, I mean, the lips are a little bit different than that. I don't know. It's very difficult there. Seven Colored Fish. Final card. The Dark Elf, and there it is. A Dark Elf. Okay, so we are now 0 for 4 on this opening. But we pulled amazing out of those random packs, so that's really helping out here. Hopefully this LOB pack can end it strongly for us, and we can get 
a blue eyes white dragon last time we pulled a dark magician which was insane so uh blue eyes come on let's do it a little bit of a fat pack as you guys can see there oh yeah let's go it seems like they only come out of these tins these fat packs i don't know if that's actually true or not all right one two three four can we pull something crazy out of legend of blue eyes white dragon spike cedra the mammoth graveyard very beautiful the fire grass dark world thorns remove trap by the way i want to mention uh tactical masters is coming out i forgot to mention this earlier in the video but uh we have the five percent off discount link in the description i don't remember what my discount code is it was something random he uses this, like rapper name generator to figure out what the discount's going to be that's why it's always really weird but go check out the link in the description also there will be the code there you can get for five percent off for the newest set tactical masters go check that out sports channel as well here we go remove trap let's see what we can pull we got the steeler grugrado the monster egg, a warrior hidden within an egg that attacks enemies by flinging eggshells. Yeah, very scary. Is it the next card or is it the next? I think it's two cards away. The Sogan. Okay, what will the final card be? Will it be a blue eyes? Come on, guys. Send your luck. Let's go. The Man Eater Bug. And this looks like a really dark print. Wait, why does this look like this? It's super dark, but that's okay. Man Eater Bug. That's pretty sick. We will take that super rare man eater bug it looks really dark for some like really dark but okay we'll take it man eater bug sick we went one for five if, lob that's a good one to pull from if you do pull anything so hope you guys have enjoyed this video it's a pretty insane we pulled some pretty awesome stuff if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this shout out to tcg trusted cards tone Fo show tomato juice daxter jt cho puffins of doom ernesto deanda squirtle flexi boy hoppus dizzy stanley mike nance mimic gecko ian musa junior barding john nolan and Tai show thomas mclean seth fisher and tone z thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys next time peace